Isn't she adorable? The reading rush is about to start in about 10 or 15 minutes and I figured I'm probably not gonna stay up very late because I'm tired but that's fine I'll start in the morning I just want right now to share with you my TBR for the reading rush now there are four challenges um, for the reading rush and I've got my book selected so let me share them with you. Uh, the first challenge is to read a book with a house on the cover. The Death of Miss, oh, Miss Westway by Ruth Ware. There's a house right there, a big old mansion. I don't know anything about this but Ruth Ware wrote um, The Turn of the Key which I loved so I'm hoping for a good thriller from this. I'm hoping it's at least decent. I think I could read this in a day if I sit down and truly uh, try. The next challenge is to read a book in the same room the whole time. Okay, so for this one, I have decided to read Fahrenheit 451 by Ray Badbury. Bradbury, can't speak, um, because I've been meaning to read this for years. Should have read this in high school, but I didn't. So I think I will read this book in that chair where my cat currently is sleeping because she stole the chair. Uh, but I'm gonna read this right there in this room the entire time. It should be a blast, hopefully. And challenge number three is to read a book set somewhere that you wish you could go. Um, for that, I think I am going to pick Widow's Point by Richard and Billy Chismar. This is a horror ghost s story that takes place at a lighthouse and that's somewhere I wish I could go because lighthouses are beautiful and they're right by the sea and I wish I could be at the sea. That's where I would like to be right now. And the last challenge, I guess it's like a bonus challenge, is to read a book that will make you smile. And for that I'm gonna read um, Black Souls by Nicole Casterman because this is a book, a young adult book about pirates and pirates always make me smile so that's what I plan to read for the reading rush and I'm gonna get started right now probably I'll read a couple pages of a book I don't know what book I want to start first but I'll figure it out and I will see you in the morning now around four in the afternoon on Thursday and I have read 210 pages of The Death of Miss Westway by Ruth Ware and I still have uh, maybe like 160 or 70 pages left of this book but I think if I keep reading I will finish it by the end of today and that is my goal so hopefully that happens. I don't think I told you anything about this book but this is a thriller that follows a young girl. Her name is Hal. She's early 20s and she gets a letter in the mail that her grandmother passed away and in her will she's supposed to be receiving something. But the problem is that Hal, as far as she knows, her grandmother who she never met passed away 20 years ago. So she feels that there's some sort of confusion and that the letter was written to the wrong person. But because Hal is in sort of a money trouble situation, she decides to go to this mansion where uh, I guess Miss Westaway used to live and to, I guess, pretend to be the granddaughter that she actually isn't and she's going to go and take the money basically and that's the story. It's actually really good so far. I don't know if anyone has seen the movie Knives Out uh, but it kind of reminds me in the aspect where you have the family members coming after their father or their mother passes away and they're all they're all kind of money hungry. It kind of reminds me of that except there's no comedy. That movie was so funny. There's just so many things that I want to know and we're getting flashbacks in this book too so I don't know I'm really enjoying this I'm pleasantly surprised I didn't have 
high expectations for this book at all. My expectations were really low, but I'm I'm enjoying this a lot and I'm going to continue reading and hopefully I finish this. I'll let you know if I finish it by the end of the night. Okay, I'll see you later. Hello, it is now Friday. Friday almost three in the afternoon. Sorry for not vlogging as much, but last night I did finish The Death of Miss Westaway and I enjoyed this one so much. I was kind of blown away at how much I enjoyed it to be honest because I, I didn't predict the ending. I think I had some ideas, but I wasn't completely sure because the book kept making me second guess myself. And I love that the book did that because I just, I didn't know at the end. And I just felt this book to be so atmospheric and haunting and, and creepy, but also super engrossing. I really, really recommend this one. So I really, really enjoyed that. I'm so happy that I was able to read that in a day. High five to myself. So last night I went on my Instagram and I made a poll on what I should read next and 77% of everyone said that I should read Fahrenheit 451 by Ray Bradbury so this is what I'm going to start in just a little bit. All I know is it is about uh, books that get burned and I don't know why. I have, n I have no idea why so I'm going to find out and hopefully it's really good. It's a classic for a reason, right? Uh, so yeah, I'm hoping to read that today. Fingers crossed. Um, I'm gonna go make myself another cup of coffee, even though it's the afternoon, but that's fine. Uh, yeah, so I'll see you in a bit. Tarzani! Hi, Tarzan! Hi, Beaks! Say hi! Say hi! Hello! How are you? So it's now Saturday around noon. I stayed up till 2 in the morning yesterday, last night, reading Fahrenheit 451 by Ray Bradbury. I didn't really pick it up till later in the afternoon, and then I couldn't put it down. I kept reading. I should have gone to bed, but the last... I want to say 60 to 80 pages I just I had to keep reading so I just stayed up and I read and this book was so so good now I understand why everyone tells you to read Fahrenheit 451 this book is a dystopian set in a I guess like a future society where all books have been burned if people are hiding books they will get in trouble they will be killed and most of the people nowadays in this book are kind of robot like in the sense that they're just so yeah, they're just, yeah, you know? And our main character in this book, his name is Guy Montag, I believe, and he's a fireman. And normally you think a fireman is someone that puts out fires, but the firemen in this book are people that set fires. So it's crazy, it's wild. And it's a short book, it's not very long, but it packs such a punch. Overall, it's a book about censorship, and it's just scary to think about because you never know. The book that I'm going to be reading for today is Widow's Point by Richard and Billy Chismar. This is a short little uh, story about a lighthouse where people have died and more people will probably die. I don't know. I think it's like a ghost story. Uh, so I'm really looking forward to this. Hopefully I can finish it today. It's about 150 pages so I should be able to knock it out and hopefully I can keep you updated. So I'll see you in a bit. Hi, hello, I'm back already. Um, I'm currently listening to some Harry Potter music. It hasn't been long. I've only read about 20 pages of this book so far, but um, this book is actually, I wanted to show you, it's written in video and audio recordings, which is really interesting. It almost has this sort of found footage um, vibe, which any sort of found footage always reminds me of the Blair Witch Project for some reason. So yeah, I just thought I'd throw that out there. I like it so far, so that's cool. It's uh, after midnight. I finished Widow's Point by Richard and Billy Chismar. The one thing I would recommend if you ever read this book is don't read it at night. Don't read it at night because you will be scared. I'll let you know my thoughts and opinions in the morning. It was really good. I liked it a lot, but now I'm scared. Good night. <laughs> So it's now the final day of the reading rush. It is Sunday. Last night, I believe I told you that I finished Widow's Point by Richard and Billy Chismar. Uh, if you enjoy horror, if that is your thing, you need to pick this up because it's so good. It will hook you in. It's written in a 
video audio recording style so it's very uh the Blair Witch Project-esque but it still holds its own I think and it's just it's so well crafted and I love it the setting is perfect and it just makes you slowly feel claustrophobic and weirded out if you're a fan of ghost stories that take place in a haunted house if you like that sort of story you will love this I loved it it scared me probably because I read it at night I don't know if it'll scare anyone if they read it during the day but during the night not the best idea so I really really like this um, one of my new favorites and the last book that I'm gonna attempt to read today is Black Souls by Nicole Casterman. This is the sequel to Black Hearts, which is a young adult book about pirates uh, focusing on Blackbeard on his like prequel story, I think. And so I'm hoping to read this today. It is about 400 pages, so it is on the longer side, but I'm thinking if I focus, it's already 12 o'clock, so we'll see how much I get done. But if I really try, I'm hoping I could finish this at least before midnight. We'll see. Say hi. <laughs> It is now 10 o'clock here on Sunday, and I think I'm gonna end the reading rush for myself. I read about a hundred pages of Black Souls by Nicole Casterman and I am really enjoying this. I'm probably going to continue to read more tonight but I'm not going to put pressure on myself to finish it until tomorrow. I'll probably finish it tomorrow but the reading rush ends today so I think I'm just going to call it and say that I had fun. This has been great. Um, let me show you what I actually accomplished and read. Um, I posted two pictures on my bookstagram for the challenges, so that was fun. I read The Death of Miss Westaway by Ruth Ware, and this was such a pleasant surprise. This is definitely one of my favorites of the year so far. It was so good. I highly recommend it if you're a thriller fan. I also read Fahrenheit 451 by Ray Bradbury, which was one that I was just, I wanted to read for so long, and I finally did, and I was so, so happy with what I read. I mean, the book itself is kind of depressing and sad, but it's such a good book and if you haven't read it I couldn't recommend it enough. Another one that I read is Widow's Point by Richard and Billy Chismar and this is easily a new favorite of mine. It was so good and haunting and, and creepy and just it's so short but so good and I loved the the format of the book itself and I'm so happy with all of the books that I read. I can't even tell you how happy I am right now. And then even this book, I'm enjoying this book too. It's about pirates so of course I'm enjoying it. So I had such a good reading rush and that's it. That's it. We're done. Um, I, I hope if you participated as well that you read some really, really good books and let me know what you read. Uh, let me know your thoughts and opinions and I would love to chat with you in the comments of this video. I hope you guys are doing well and taking care and I'll see you really soon. Bye.